So in light of this coronavirus disaster and about a week ago our president um, got up and said we're uh, slowly beginning to wind stuff down, we're limiting the amount of people at a public gathering etc etc. Um, we're about a weekend so that was Sunday, today's Saturday. I am going to head out, stay in the car, but I'm going to head out to town and some places that I know are usually quite, quite popular and quite packed. Um, and just see exactly how deserted or how quiet it is one of two things will happen either a people are just like not caring and the places are going to be crowded anyway which will be mega disappointing or secondly um the places are going to be deserted in which case i'll be able to get some really cool pictures and really cool video so um so let's go find out business as usual, there's hardly any parking, the um, restaurants are full, nobody here really seems to care that there's a global pandemic. Musenberg is actually quite packed. I'm surprised at how many people are on the beach. Just absolutely nobody, nobody cares. The traffic on the way out of Fischer coming towards Musenberg was chock-a-block. Um, everybody's just going to spend the day out in public. So um, I think I'm going to head over um, Hot Bay direction and go to Dudno Camps Bay. It is a gorgeous day in Cape Town. I will hand it and people that. It's like 25 degrees, there's no wind. I mean, it is a perfect, perfect day in Cape Town. So it's hard to be sort of locked up at home. Um, but like, if your life is in danger and the spreading of the virus is all over the place, like, is that really a wise move? We're going to head over to Dunno direction and um, see how crowded Camps Bay is. a significant presence in um, that squatter camp and um, everybody kind of wearing disaster management bibs I'm assuming I'm not gonna get out and try and engage anybody but I'm assuming that it's some kind of um, um, educational process like just telling people and educating the, the local community on, um, on corona I imagine COVID um, so yeah, so heading over to Lundudno now and then on to Camps Bay and let's go see what that looks like. Camps Bay definitely looks like the place to be today. Beach is packed, there's no parking available, most of the restaurants are full. Um, I'm a little surprised to be honest. I was I was kind of half expecting to come through here for people to be taking a situation like this a bit more seriously. Um, and for like lots of places just to be empty, like people staying away from you know from public places and not gathering together beaches and restaurants and stuff like that so um, a bit disappointed if I'm honest
so um sea point and look as i said it's, it's a gorgeous day in cape town 25 degrees no wind i mean like what why would you not want to go for a walk on the promenade um there's just so many people here like how the stuff spreads people okay so sea point's not deserted there's a lot of traffic on the roads um my hope of trying to get any kind of pictures where the streets are deserted are um kind of being dashed at the moment this is a lot of traffic everywhere um so yeah don't know nobody is quarantining nobody's staying away everybody's just carrying on business as usual okay I have finally found a small part of Cape Town that is a little emptier than usual the very start of the promenade in Sea Point um, if you're heading towards the waterfront you come past the lighthouse um, there is significantly more parking available here than um, I think I've ever seen before and there are also significantly less people here so um, this is kind of what I was expecting. This is what I was expecting in Camps Bay and Musenberg and it just wasn't like that. Um, so we're going to keep going. I'm going to do a loop around town, see what's going on in town and um, yeah, try and get a feel for, for where we're at with um, taking this virus seriously. Through the waterfront, um, surprising, really surprising, at how many people there actually still are, especially in restaurants. Um, but at the same time, not nearly as many people as there usually are at the waterfront. So there's like there's a better vibe of like things are not quite the same down here at the waterfront and coming through the bottom end of Sea Point. Um, but still not really what I was expecting. I really, really was expecting a much, much emptier environment. So I have um, come to Pantry Park. Skate Park looks abandoned. We wanted to go check that out. So you can see behind me at the parking area, there are like hardly any cars. There's like one or two on this side, but um, it doesn't look like much. They're like desperate for a skate, so we're gonna have a quick look. If there's like nobody in the park, we'll have a skate. Lots of people in the park. Can you not do that? Okay, there are lots of people in the park, then um, we'll bail. But um, yeah, this is feeling very I am legendish. Uh, you kind of head out and there's like, I'm gonna die, and then there's like zombies. <laughs> anyway, so let's go check out what's, um, what's happening in the park. Skate for a bit. Right, so um, a whole bunch of people rocked up at the skate park, and um, I guess it like there's like two or three people that's two or three people more than I'm comfortable with, so let's get out of here.
So Long Street is just more of the same. Um, busier than I was expecting, but quieter than usual. So I think there's there's a little bit of a vibe in some areas where like people are staying away, but it seems like in other areas, people just, quite frankly, don't care. Um, I mean, we went for a bit of a skate there, but the minute more people rocked up, we, um, we bailed. So let's see how it goes over the next couple of weeks. Um, I hope you found this interesting. A little bit of a uh, view into what's happening in Cape Town. A gorgeous Cape Town day. Uh, temperatures now up to 30 degrees in town. Still no wind. Um, it's a beautiful Cape Town day. So I don't blame people for wanting to go out. I just question the kind of wisdom behind exposing yourself and exposing other people.